Welcome back to our Salute to Our Veterans show this morning. We appreciate you being with us. And I am so appreciative that we have our next guest here with us as well today. Once again, Travis Mills joining us, but we have Marine veteran Chris Miller joining us. And I thank you for coming in and being with us Absolutely. today. Absolutely. It's an honor to be here. And you two now, how long have you known each other? Just the last couple? 2000. Yeah. Yep. We've five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Five minutes. He's Army, Marine you, Corps. We already don't get along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You came up in 17 or 18? 2017. 17. Yeah. yeah so First 17. Year, yeah. yeah. You have become a hometown hero here of sorts. And we've done stories on you. Uh, we've done stories in the news on you. And as I said to Travis before, you are the same way in this sense of vulnerability that you give. I mean, I've never seen someone who is so willing to address the struggles after having gone through what you've been through. Yeah, that's I, I think one of the things I realize when you hit that bottom, you know, and sometimes it's you, you try and figure out how to get out. And there's people like Travis that helped me get out of a hole. There's people that you just meet that help you find that way to survive. And uh, I found that way. And, you know, it's still a struggle every day. It's never going to leave, you know, between, you know, mental health and physical health. It's always going to be there. It's, you know, how you adapt and overcome and drive forward, you know, and a lot of that's you know, it's the people I hang out with, you know, that you, you can't just say, hey, I'm having a bad day, I'm going to pout, or he'll throw a limb at you. You know, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's I, I want to ask you this. I know, and I, I feel it's hard for me to ask this because I don't want you to ever have to feel like you're reliving this with us, but if you would share a bit of your story. Um, yeah, I had a couple uh, crazy days. Uh, we had uh, supper. We were overseas, and I uh, sustained an injury. Uh, I got stabbed during a riot. Um, I've been shot twice, and then me and two other Marines ended up taking a 50-foot cliff fall, left me paralyzed from neck down for a while in a wheelchair for a long time. Spent eight months in the hospital, and uh, you know the struggle never leaves. I'm still continuing surgeries. I just, they just, the Cleveland doctors just stole three more vertebrae out of my neck. I mean, they're 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 crazy up there. But no, you know what? It's it is. You 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 find that way to fight through things and. My biggest thing is my support system. You know, I have the most amazing family. Um, my mom, my wife, the kids, my daughter, uh, and especially Zulu. You know, I wish Zulu was here to say hi to everybody, but. Uh, Did you just say in front of everybody that especially Zulu, your, your service dog is more important than your kids and your <laughs> wife? You're trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> no, I'm just You're trying to get me in trouble. I just want to make sure you heard what, no, I'm kidding. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I know that you two share something that I can never understand. So I, I don't know, you know, if there's anything that you want to bring out of him right now if there's anything that you wanted to ask him in particular um. no I think I think he hit the nail on the head though. Um, having the right support system having people there encouraging um, you to do something uh, face your fears uh, you know he came up and we have a high ropes course that uh, Mike Rowe actually built Mike Rowe from you know Mike Rowe works uh, he built it and he went up there and he hadn't been over a six foot ladder. step ladder yeah. and he was at the top and his knees were shaking and I was like oh little, real big tough marine because I didn't know he fell off a cliff so that's on me oh. you know <laughs> no I didn't I did I mean I knew but I didn't so I was like stop yeah. being you know and I was making fun of him but then get, like, up. get up but uh but you know having everybody on the staff and all the volunteers as well as his family and his you know his son was the biggest driving force of that saying jump you can do it and encouraging him to jump, you know, from 24 foot, um, 24 foot free fall, basically. I think that was about a thousand foot. Yeah. I'm sure it felt like that. Yeah. I, I, Not that big. What you've both <laughs> gone through, and then the uh, the things, the feats that you've accomplished since then, yeah. I, I, no. I don't have the words for it, and I just think, you know, your stories are so inspiring. If if I could ask you, Chris, what? what you hope when, when other veterans are watching or, or when the general public is watching your, you share your story, what do you want them to take away from it? I, th I just want them to know that one day, somehow, family, friends, somebody's gonna realize they're gonna hit that bottom. And you know what, you gotta be there for the veterans, you gotta be there for the first responders, you gotta be there for the people that are struggling. And when I went through you know, some tough times, I always had that family, I always had that connection to the veterans, people trying to help. And that's how you cut that 22 a day out, you know what? Um, I didn't know where I was going in life when I first met Travis. And, I, and, and the Travis Mills Foundation opened my eyes to realize, you know, there's, there's thousands and thousands of Marines and different, you know, every military branch has these guys that are fighting. You know, and I seen what Travis does and what he did to me. I said, there's somebody out there that's at the bottom and I know I can help. I know I can make a change in their life, introduce them to Travis, introduce them to so many uh, amazing people to get them back where they need to be and 
for me, that keeps me from being down here. I'm on a team again. Mm -hmm. You know, I wear this hat with pride now, you know, and it, it's like, hey, you know, get these families out there, get the knowledge out there. You know, it's all about keeping us uh, together. You know, the camaraderie we have between our brothers and sisters and, you know, we got to keep us, keep us going. And that's what I feel like I do now. It's just, you know, the drive. Some people just want to keep going and help like Travis. And you know what? Yeah. I just want to just do that. And it, it's an amazing feeling. It is, it is so powerful to sit in a room like this because as I'm watching you talk, I happen to look over and I saw some of these veterans wipe tears away from their eyes. And it just shows you how connected you all are, how what you say is so relatable to so many. And I think, again, that's why it's so important that we have you here and we have you addressing these things. So thank you for coming in. I know you're going to stick around. Um, yeah. We thank you for your service. I'm and thank you so much for you. everything you've done. And I know Zulu's going through a little bit of a tough time right now, but she's, she's going to come out of this on Zulu's top. Zulu's going to come back on top. She you is. Know, she, she'll be here ready and run around next year. I promise you that. She is. All right, we're back here at the American Legion Post 572 here in Parma. And it has been so far such a powerful morning. We are in a room filled with so many veterans today. And again, I thank you all for being here with us and supporting these men who are up here as well. Um, now joined by Dave Mortosh as well with Mortosh Financial, uh, someone who has become close friends now with Travis Mills. And I, I know that watching Travis and Chris both speak today, it is always so. These are two men that you admire so much. Well, they are, and I'm friends with both of them, which I'm very, very blessed to be. So it was fun listening to Chris's story. It really was. You know, stabbed once, shot twice, fell off the 50-foot cliff. I mean, that's just a normal day, right? Oh, it's not? Yeah. No, oh, no, okay. it's not. Now, Travis always liked to say that he had a bad Monday at work and walked into a bomb, so that's a little bit of a different story. I get it. So, but I wanted to focus this one on Chris because I've become really, really good friends with Chris and I try to support him as much as I can. So, again, I can't, like you said, I can't imagine what these guys have honestly went through. Chris updates me on every surgery, which seems to be like pretty much every day. Here comes the new surgery, Dave. I'm like, my God, he just got done with the last one. So, I told my wife, I said, I should do something crazy for Chris today. It's the Marine Corps birthday. I said, you know what? I said, I got a great idea. I'll sing happy birthday to him. Well, and my that wife that said, was not a good idea. You know, oh my God, you sound like my wife. She <laughs> said, oh my things. God, Fox, they don't lose all their viewers. And I'm like, okay, no, 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 I, I got it. We're not going to do that. So we went with the second choice. Now the second choice is pretty good too. It, it's not as good as singing, but we went with the second choice. So today, because Chris has went through so much hell, we are paying off his mortgage on his new house. You will be mortgage free for the rest of your life with you, your wife and your family. And we are paying off his mortgage, my wife Sophie and I. This is what we couldn't wait for on the show today. He deserves hey, every damn penny of this. <laughs> I'm so proud to know these two people. Oh. We're paying yeah. off his house. You can't get up, man. You can't get up because you're not in. You can't get up. You can, she can't stand up, but I'm going to stand up for you. Wow. That is. I, I didn't know. <laughs> They don't tell nobody me, knew. They don't tell me secrets like that. Exactly. No, yeah. nobody knew. That's how you do surprises. <laughs> yeah. So, Chris, you deserve this. I know what the. I know how much hell you've went through. I said it on TV. Sorry, that's the word hell. They've went through hell. Travis had his house built for him. Chris had to build his own house, and he's been paying the darn mortgage. I caught myself. Are you impressed? Good, good. Yes. <laughs> Chris, you will no longer be paying a mortgage. You are going to be mortgage free. I am not a doctor. I don't play a doctor on TV. I can't fix that stuff, but I sure as hell can pay off your house. And my wife and I have had this plan for the last nine months, and no one here knew that we were going to do this except for one person. And Kristen, this, the wonderful person here, is the only person <laughs> that knew. On your day. Right. <clears throat> so, won't it be nice to not have a mortgage anymore, Chris? There's n there's no words I can s I can say that can express that. You know, my wife and my family, we gave everything to try and build this amazing house. And, you know, we struggled with so many different things. And you just took it to a whole level, another level to where the struggling on that aspect, we will never have to worry about again. You're right. And there's not enough words or anything I can say. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you. You guys have changed my, my life since day my one. My wife won't come on TV. She keeps telling me I have to do it. 
And she wouldn't let me sing. And you had the same darn reaction, so well, you guys must be related. I think this is a way better gift right. I bet to you. give. I, <laughs> my wife's coming tomorrow. I wish she was coming today. She'd well, be screaming and crying. Well, that's all right. You're going to post this everywhere. Oh, I know you God. will, Chris. And this is, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I want to make this official. We are matching a half a million dollars in donations to Travis's foundation. TravisMillsFoundation.org slash Dave. I'm going to throw that out there. Please, God, help these guys. Chris's life changed when he went up to Travis's foundation. He just said that. And I know that because I've talked to him a million times. His life changed. Now he's a spokesperson for Travis Mills, and it changed his life. Oh, maybe that's why we're here today is to support Travis's foundation so that there's more vets that we can help. Now, here's the fun part. Not really. 22 veterans per day commit suicide. I was just about to bring that up. Okay, so mm -hmm. Travis has got the best PTS course that I've seen for <clears throat> veterans, but now he's been wise enough, thank God, to open it up to first responders also. So his foundation helps the vet and the family when they're injured. PTS and PTS for first responders. I have never in my life period, end of the conversation, seen a better foundation than the one that Travis runs. I have some of my clients that are very honest with me. Davey wrote a $500,000 check. Uh, did it get to the foundation? Yes. I won't even let them finish that conversation. Travis doesn't waste a penny. Period. End of the conversation. That's what people want to know when they donate. Because there are charities that don't quite do that. Travis won't waste a penny. I know that. And I know how much it changed Chris's life. So he changed Chris's life five years ago. And my wife and I decided to change it a little bit today. Chris, I, I know you're speechless right now. I, I mean, I, I, I know that everyone in this room would, would give anything to be able to help you in that way, and, and you're blessed to be able to do yep. that. And you you're, know what? you're crying on TV. Just so That's, you know you you know <laughs> it's okay. I kind of thought he might. Uh, I, I just, you know what? You, you take all these different struggles and battles that you fight throughout life, you know, and, you know, that dirty M word, like you said, Morgan, Mortgage is a thing of the past. You know, I could have never imagined something like this. And uh, to, to, to ease that off my wife and, you know, my family and my, my little boys, there's uh thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Fox, for making this happen. Thank Travis, you, making this happen. Dave, and so I want to give you guys a giant hug, man. We there's can no do much. that. We can do that right when now. When I we get disconnected here, I, yes, I feel like I'm in the gonna... hospital again. I want to come out, but uh, thank you. It's like you. being in the hospital for you. You're in the hospital all the time anyway, <laughs> so. <laughs> We're going to go to commercial break, but now I have to go, but we will be back, and we can do that big group hug right now. We'll be back with more from our Salute to Veterans show.